and welcome to today's video. It's Misha Ashling, it's Moonshore Gwail Gamay, and today we're going to be going through 2019's question on on Tarak here. Now, jumping right into on Hest, this was a well anticipated question, the students and teachers alike. Also, it's quite a kind question, it's pretty straightforward as we will see as we dig through it. Quijahain asks us, Quivni on Illa er nosena of winla sail on Nilan in a oiga a toss a dawn on Tarakir, he is a shin of lay. Fairly straightforward, you're talking about the memories of the poet growing up on the island. The Martin scheme asks us to be certain to have accurate quotation and reference to the text. This is essential, particularly given that the poem is in front of you. You have little excuse to not get this right. Quijido tells us Cain Mohukon is mo a vusklian on Donsha on it fain. Six marks on it. So you talk about Mohukon, you need to mention one piece of information. A big thing here for our marking scheme is that to name a feeling at all is one mark. Your Puincha a one Olish then gets you an additional four marks. Again, what's important to us is to use accurate reference. Next we've got our classic Sail Agus Seher, K a Hum on Dawn Show. We're talking about our Sail Agus Seher. Looking at our marking scheme, we see three Fincha Olish Ectastal. You need three points of information. You could do two about the sail, one about the seher, two about the seher, one about the sail, up to yourself, so long as there are three points of information. Important to note here. Is ma vien animon illa mi hiart fine to nod don veer er fad. So if you get the name of the poet incorrect, you misname them, you misspell the name, you are going to get nothing for this entire section, which would be disastrous. Now, let's see how this student tackled the question. One thing I noted that was great is the amount of reference here. Every point has a reference back to the text, which is exactly how you should be tackling any question like this. Another thing that was great is that there's an immediate answer on the question. The examiner sees straight away what you think of the question. On top of that, it'll help you to stay focused so you can get through your answer without wandering off on a tangent. Also lovely is this Neadfi opening, really pretty and it will help your mark for the quality of your Irish to increase as you go along. One thing that wasn't so great was the lag in a mock. I thought the layout of this answer was a little all over the place. Like if you go chronologically through the poem and tackle it that way, it helps you to stay focused. You won't get lost, you won't get confused, nor will your examiner. Make it as easy on both of you as possible. Also, it is a poem you are discussing and this person only mentions imagery but no other poetic techniques. In order for the poet to convey their love for life on the island to the reader, there's a huge amount of poetic techniques at work here. And it's important that the examiner sees that you understand this is a poem. And it was crafted in such a way to portray these memories in a tangible way for the reader. Techniques are therefore essential, so we would recommend mentioning them. Quid you though? We're looking at our Mohu Khan. Again, we have our Fragra Loira, which is great, and as we said, helps both you and the examiner to stay focused from the get-go. The person indicates Gra is their Mohukanus Laudra, makes perfect sense, a great choice. Then we've got a Mohorum, which is lovely for two reasons. Firstly, you are indicating it's your opinion from the get-go, which is what we want. This needs to be personal to you. That's the whole idea here. It needs to be your personal opinion. Then it'll help your mark for the quality of your Irish because you're saying imo horum, you're using your shavu correctly because it's personal belonging to you. It's a personal possessive who gets a shavu where possible. Less good is the lack of clarity or our me hilerok, neil and fragrish or solar. And it's not because the person mentions an additional feeling. Why do that? This answer needs to be so short. Pick one emotion, stick to it. Of course, we can argue love and respect our mass are two sides of the same coin, but we don't want to confuse ourselves or confuse our examiner. Mention one feeling, stick to it, remain focused. Also, for the sake of six marks, this is also quite long. You only have to make the one point and then you move on. No need to labour the point. 
Get in, get out, and be done with it. Moving on and looking at our sail August see her quidge a tree. We see quite clearly the anum, Tosh Kert, spelt correctly, all good from the get-go. Fierikey, there are some great and accurate facts throughout about the poet's life. On top of that, what is also lovely is where the student says, Gwynyad Illimora or Linya. Lovely. And a great phrase that you can pop into multitudes of answers about poets, apart from, of course, on Spalpin Faunach. Unfortunately, there is no mention of see her in this answer, rendering it incomplete. So the student is missing out on marks here simply by neglecting to mention any of the poet's other work. There is a cheeky attempt at covering the fact that this person has written more poems, Tautashin la fecal in a quidge iliocta, but that's not sufficient. We need titles. We need what type of writing did he do? Did someone publish it? Maybe add that in. It's not necessary, of course, to know the publisher, but you know what I mean. It needs to be a lot more specific than this. Also, to pad out this answer, because I'm sure this person probably panicked on the day, realising that they didn't actually have the see her learned off. So they tried to pad the answer with repetitive bits from their original answer, which, as we know, is needless. Fuckle scar. First thing to note that is super important is lay on hest go kuramuk. Be certain to read through your questions. Underline the bits that are important for you. Underline bits you are going to reiterate or rephrase in your answer. And be sure you are answering every aspect of the question that is in front of you. When you saw it as on takes, it is so important that you make use of the text given that it's right in front of you. It's right there. Reference back to it, reference back to it accurately, and you should be on the right path to a really strong response. And importantly, if you are tackling the poetry aspect of this paper, you need to have sail. August see her of your poets learned off. Have it off the tip of your tongue by the time you're going into paper two, and you should be right as rain. Now there's an annotated PDF of this available to you on the StudyClick site. Check it out, and I'll see you in the next video.